Hey everybody, Attorney Richard Seller here. Before we start, this video is sponsored by Charmin. This is a very uh, high in demand commodity. Uh, for those of you who are um, fighting for it, uh, it's all over the internet on the fight channel videos. Folks, it's just toilet paper. Come on, let's not lose our sense. Anyway, I want to talk to you about this. The new normal for the next couple of months is most likely going to be working from home. And in this coronavirus work from home edition here at Seller Legal, I wanted to talk to everybody a little bit about some of the do's and don'ts about working from home, what this is going to mean, etc. Okay, so assuming your employer has told everybody we're going to have you logging in from home, there's I'm presuming going to be a punch in punch out system, but as we always know, there's going to be those that want to take advantage where they log into their system, meaning the employer system, leave it open all day and spend the day watching uh, Netflix videos. Okay, so what everybody in the on the employment side needs to know, especially the employees, is that the software that the employers are giving you allows them to spy on you and embed within your program, meaning your license, keystrokes, log in, log out times, activity reports, etc. So my advice to everybody, and it's very difficult, especially when there's kids, dogs, movies, etc. at home, is if you're being paid to work, try to do as best you can to remain professional and do the job you're being paid to perform, okay? Because if your employer, even though everybody's out of work for the coronavirus, suspects or believes that you are stealing time, which is exactly what it is, you're being paid to work and you're not working, that is a legitimate reason for firing. And let me tell everybody right now, with what's going on with the economy, it is going to be a nightmare to find a new job anytime over the next three to four months. So, another sort of side note, um, where it had been an employee market over the last year or two with the boom in the economy where people were just leaving jobs and quitting and going from this job to, that's gonna stop really quickly. So let me touch a little bit on performance. Now is the time to dig in and show your employer that you are one of the employees they need to keep, okay? There are going to be mass layoffs, there are going to be mass firings, and unemployment is going to spike. And if you now take the opportunity to take advantage of your employer while working from home and not working, you got a problem. Okay. Other things, breaks, things, of the, apply the same rules of the workplace to your home. Okay. So if you're going to take a normal break, okay, then take your normal break, be in, be out, but don't start taking the excessive breaks. Cause again, it's going to be tracked. Other things that arise working from home. Make sure that people and folks that may be in your house are not getting access to your employer's information that may be confidential. That's another way you can get fired is, you know, your kid logs onto your, your system um, and gets confidential information or banking information from a potential client or a client and they start sharing it with their friends. I've seen things like this happen, folks. I've seen situations where employees' children get access to the postage account of the employer and they start buying and shipping things in the employer's account on Etsy. I think that's what it's called. I, I'm getting older. But in any event, that's another issue, okay? Um, work from home mandates. There are going to be some tasks that are going to be very difficult for you to do from home. I think it's important from day one for you to have an open dialogue with your employer. I'm going to give you a perfect example. You may be used to two or three screens at the office, but when you log in from home, you're logging in from one computer with one screen and your efficiency may suffer. I think it's a fair conversation early on to have with your employer, okay? Say, hey, listen, I normally do things this way with only one screen, I'm having some difficulty, etc." Next, personal grooming hygiene professionalism, okay? Just because you're working from home, don't let yourself go, don't stop shaving, don't stop putting on makeup if that's what you do, don't stop combing your hair, okay? We act how we feel and how we look. If you start just grubbing around in your underwear, you're gonna be unproductive. There's studies that show this. So dress for success. Now, am I telling you that you should put on a three-piece suit with a vest if you're working from home? No, but if your normal work attire is a pair of khakis and a button-down or a polo, then wear that, okay? Don't lose all sense or semblance of reasonableness, okay? Um, and that sort of goes to my next point is, at some point, this is gonna be over. 
and you're gonna have to go back into the workplace. Now, my son is a senior in high school. He's a great kid, great student, doing well, but truthfully, second semester, now he's already gotten into college, he's suffering from senioritis. So is his work ethic exactly where it should be going into college next year? Right now, no, but we've all gone through senioritis. Don't go through work at home-itis, where you get this sort of lazy component to yourself, where your work ethic, your, pro your productivity, and your professionalism take a vacation. This isn't a vacation, folks, okay? And remember, and I, I can't say it enough, employers are struggling right now. They're going to continue to struggle and they're going to look for folks that they can downsize. It is not illegal to downsize you if the economy continues to crash and business is terrible. So if you're one of those folks who doesn't stand out while working from home, you may be one of the folks that gets downsized and fires and fired. Final message, same point. Make yourself an indispensable rock star. If you've got to work from home, I know it sounds like fun and, and convenient and you know you get to see your dog. All of that is great, okay? But don't lose sight of what's actually happening. Businesses need to continue to run. They need to continue to rely on their employees. Um, and if there's any issues that arise, obviously you always talk to your manager, talk to HR. If you have a medical issue that may prevent you from working, keep those doors and that dialogue open. Okay, questions, comments, concerns, Richard at FloridaOvertimeLawyer.com. Keep watching our videos, www.FloridaOvertimeLawyer.com or our YouTube channel, which you are on. Stay safe, stay healthy. Where'd I put my toilet paper? If you need a slice, I'm not gonna gouge. Just email me, we'll send you a piece. Just kidding, I'm not really sending that. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.